Hey everybody, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we're gonna do a fun craft tonight. If you're watching on replay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this and um, come back for more. But um, tonight we're just gonna make a little something I've had kind of going on in my mind again <clears throat> and try to execute it here on the table. So, um, hey Michelle, and this will be loaded up to YouTube after the live. So if you'd rather watch there, it'll be there too. There's some of my friends hopping on. And then I'll get started and tell y'all what we're gonna make. Hey Tess. Hey Bertha. There's all my friends. Hey Wendy from Oklahoma. I bet it's hot in Oklahoma. It's hot here. Hey Kelly from Nebraska. And Donna. Thank you, Donna. So I hope y'all have had a good week so far. Tomorrow's Friday. Whoop whoop. It's Friday. Of course, I don't typically get a lot of weekends because I work during the weekends too, but but I have, you know, I'll take time during the week too, but for myself, but sometimes I work on the weekends. Hey, Frida. Hey, Sandra. And right now I'm up to here in pumpkins because <laughs> all of y'all, thank y'all very much. I see where some of y'all have already gotten your pumpkins and already painted them and that's awesome. There are some in the shop. If you're needing the pumpkins, they're in the shop. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Linda and Ann and Sue. Oh, thank you, Sue. Okay, so what we're going to do tonight is I want to make a scarecrow gnome. And we are going to be using raffia because y'all know I <laughs> raffia rage. So I want to make this little gnome. And I've just had it in my, um, in my mind of what I want to do. I saw something somewhere and I was like, oh, we can make that. Oh, Tina got hers today. Awesome. And Joyce. Hey, Joyce. She got hers. Yay. Oh, Marie, you're having flooding. Oh, my gosh. Well, now you can work on your pumpkins. Hey, Tina from Phoenix. Hey, Kimberly. Okay. So, there's a couple ways you can do gnomes. Um, I, I don't think I've ever actually made one like this on my page. I've made several in the past. Um, I don't think... Um, I've made them on here, but I know a lot of people do, but we're gonna do a little twist on him. He's gonna be a little different. Hey, good, Rexanne. Hey, Cindy from Mississippi, me too. Okay, so um, so there's a couple ways you can do it. I got this jar here. This jar is from this place called The Yard, and we ate, got milkshakes in Destin, Florida, and it was like one of those milkshakes that's like, you know, the whole, it's this big, huge whole thing that you can't even eat. Um, hey, Debbie. Uh, Debbie, I'm going to make a, we're going to make a scarecrow gnome is what we're going to make. And he's going to be super cute if I can get it out of here and put it down here. <laughs> hey, Renee. Okay. So I'm going to use a sock. Um, I started to use a, this blue sock because I'm only going to use this part of it, but I'm kind of leaning toward this neutral color. Hey, Penny. And so I am going to, I'm going to cut it off. This is, this is from the Dollar Tree. There's those boot socks or whatever. Um, I have a whole bin of socks because I make snowmen with them and all kinds of stuff. So I just pulled some socks out that I had. Um, hey, Melissa. No, you hadn't missed anything. I'm just starting. We're going to make a scarecrow gnome is what we're going to make. Um, so I'm going to put my sock down in here. And I'm going to kind of gauge. I'm going to cut it up high because I don't really know how, how big I want to make him. You can't find the square clear containers at Dollar Tree. Uh-oh. Okay. So, I'm going to cut it up here because I can always cut it off. I know this car is going to be too long. Oh, Colin, I didn't see you on. I'm sorry, son. He said I'd give everybody a shout-out but his own, my own offspring. I'd love him. Okay. So, there's a couple ways you can do this. Some people use beans and some people use... Uh, rice okay now if you use rice you know it is perishable I guess um, people say you have to microwave it or freeze it or something to keep the bugs out so I'm gonna do something a little different tonight and I'm going to um, oh you're drinking iced tea out of your yard cup yes those milkshakes are awesome I got this at Dollar Tree my clumping cat litter I don't have a cat I got this specifically um, for, for this project. So this whole bag was only a dollar. You could get a bunch of gnomes out of this. And my first thought was it worried about it being dusty, but it doesn't appear to be dusty in the bag. So, um, hey Rhonda, hey Cindy. So I'm going to, 
It doesn't look dusty to me, so we're gonna go with it. That way it's it's not perishable. You don't have to worry about freezing your rice and all this stuff. And I'm using this cup, and yes, Colin's gonna say that's a cup from the wedding. It is, but that's the, only, the smallest one I had on hand. This was their cups. I've got several of them, so don't worry, guys. <laughs> the uh, cup from the wedding that they had at the wedding. And now he's going, I know he's looking at Paige and he's going, mom's using our cup for kitty litter. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm just gonna, I cut my sock off and I got it down the jar and that's gonna kind of help me hold it up while I'm getting my stuff in here. It's his little body. Craft wagon. Cheryl, the craft wagon was Monday. So if you get on my page and just scroll down, you should be able to find it really easy. So it's not too far down. But it's also, um, they've made it hard to find the videos. I don't know why they've done that. But it's also on YouTube also. Hey, Jody from St. Louis. Okay, I better get it out of this jar before I can't get it out. Okay, so that's just going to help me. Now everybody's going to be buy <laughs> buying cat litter, for real. Um, well, and it works, it's, and it's it's not dusty like the old-timey cat litter. It doesn't seem dusty at all, because I was worried about it being dusty and coming out of the holes in the sock. Oh, you use rice. See, I've used rice too, Dawn, but then I've seen people say, oh, you got to do this. you got to do that. Okay, so I'm going to... I think that's kind of good for my body. I don't want him too, too tall. Oh, <laughs> you watched me and Lindy from that Sunday? Yes, it was hilarious. Oh, my gosh. That was, that was classic. Okay, so I'm going to, let me get my jute. I forgot about this part. So I got him where I want him, and I'm going to tie him off up here at the top. And if y'all have been crafting a while and you make, and you like gnomes, then you've probably made a gnome at some point, kind of this part. Thank you, the wagon was really cute. So I'm just gonna tie it off so it won't come out Oh, you got the pumpkins? Yay! So, yes, they're in the shop, so they're not sold out. Um, so, you can go get you some pumpkins. Okay. Oh, somebody's already got a bag of kitty litter. Well, good. You can, you got, now you got something to make it with. I didn't know they had kitty litter, and I was scrolling, strolling along in the store, and I went, oh, I can use that kitty litter. litter. <clears throat> okay. So, but the thing with this is, if you it'll mash down into a ball because the sock is kind of flimsy. So what I like to do, um, and this will just add a little extra something something to him, I guess, is I'm gonna tie some jute down here at the bottom. So, cause I want him to kind of stay up, upright and not, not his body just melt down into a ball like a snowman. Okay, so I just tied my jute around there and let me get it out like I want to. And then I'm just gonna kind of wrap him just a little bit. And part of this is not even gonna show, but if it does, it'll just add to his little outfit. It'll just add a little something something to him. So that's, that's my key to kind of keeping it upright where it just doesn't waddle down into a puddle, if that makes any sense. So let's see, so I'm gonna cut that off. When are my Christmas ones coming out? Um, they're coming out soon. Um, I know I showed those gingerbread men and then I was like, oh no, now <laughs> everybody's gonna be thinking they're coming out really soon. But I have to, um, I have to, um, so I just tied a knot down there just to secure my jute, okay? And that just helps keep it upright straight, okay? Um, I have to like design files or either buy files and then I have to cut them and see how they cut and then I have to paint them and see how I like it before I, it ever even gets to you. So that's kind of what I was doing the gingerbread man and I fell in love with them. So yeah, they'll be coming out pretty soon. You use cat litters in your gnome sometimes. Oh good, Tammy's done it before. Awesome. What kind of sock? It's just the Dollar Tree boot socks or whatever. Um, I've had them. I have a bin full of socks because I make the snowman. I used to do all that. So I have a bin full of socks from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> that's weird. I have all kinds of stuff. Okay, so here's my body. And like I said, I wrapped that around there just to keep it sturdy and straight up right. Okay, so let's see. Should I work on his? Yeah, I'm going to work on his beard. Okay, so his beard is not going to be um, fur. 
Not gonna be fur. We're gonna do something different with his beard. And yes, I have tamed it already. So if y'all are wondering, this is what we're gonna make his beard out of. Um, I do too, I love, I love gnomes. I love them, I can't help it. Some people, either you love them or you hate them, um, but I love them. Okay, so I'm gonna cut some raffia. I don't wanna, I'm cutting this long off down here. I don't know what that's doing. But I took it and I straightened it with a little tiny, I can't reach it, it's a hair, a hair straightener, iron, whatever. I straighten it with that, because this all that stuff makes me go nuts. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to, so this is going to be his beard, because I thought how appropriate for him to be have a beard made of raffia. Oh, you caught me live. Yay, I'm glad you're here. Oh, yeah, you could take the other sock and put it down in there. Well, I only had one of these kinds of socks because I evidently I used the other one. Um, so now I'm going to hope my glue gun's going to work with me. But I got some of this, but I'm going to add some more. So I've got to decide how far up I want his beard to go. And then I'm just going to put a hefty amount of hot glue down. And then I'm gonna take my raffia and kind of spread it out to where at least it gets into my glue. And I can already tell that I'm probably going to burn myself. Welcome Dawn, glad you're here, awesome. A big fan of gnomes, Rhonda. That's what Nancy used to tell me. Nancy used to say, oh, I didn't like gnomes until I saw you do them, and now I love them. So, I'm just going to squirt some glue here and there because, you know, the top little pieces don't get stuck down. So, I'm going to hold that down a second. Not giving you the option. Yes, Amanda, I, I don't have stars right now. Um, they took it away for whatever reason. I don't really know because they don't tell you. I think it was because I posted like a slideshow video and they didn't like that. So, I don't know. So, I'm waiting to hear when they're going to give it back to me. It's gnome day. That's right. Lindy did a gnome. If y'all did not see Lindy with tater bug, and if you did not see the gnome that she made this afternoon with the little Halloween trees from the Dollar Tree, y'all have got to go see what she did with that that uh that those little trees They're, they have um black and orange gnomes out like the christmas trees at uh, christmas the little white and the green ones they have orange and black ones out for halloween and she and i went to i am june i am i'm conquering the fear um she and i found those trees the other day at dollar tree and she made a gnome out of that black and orange tree today and it was the cutest thing all right so i think i need some more in the middle yeah i'm conquering my raffia fears i, I tamed it i straightened it all out because you know it's it's just wild hey deborah i am from hernando mississippi you're not too far from me the cutest fall Rhonda I ordered me some the other night too i was late night shopping on the internet and i shouldn't have been <laughs> I'm watching from Gloucester. Everybody's from Mississippi on here tonight. Oh, thank you, Jean. Thank y'all for being here. Okay, so I'm trying to get my... Tamed my raffia. Because y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with this stuff. I love the way it looks, but I, I just cannot handle the crazy, just wild stuff going everywhere. And I'm just kind of putting some here and there. Tapping that down. Just where it looks like it needs it. Oh, your grandmother's from there. Oh, Corey's from Mississippi, too. There was a bunch of Mississippi in the house tonight. And there's there's Chris and Dee Dee. They're from, they're from Tupelo. Goodness. Y'all aren't far from me at all. Okay. All right. So, I got this hot mess of glue and raffia. And I'm going to try to hold it up and pray to God it don't come off. Okay, so I gotta give him a haircut because right now he looks like Cousin It. Yes, Marcinia, you gotta watch Lindy's replay. That was the cutest thing that she did. 
You love gnaws, but you don't know how to make them. Well, Nisi, you're in the right place. But, you know, normally you would use the fur and um, all that stuff. Now, this is where it's going to get on my nerves because, you know, it's, it's going to go everywhere and make a hot mess. But that's what my broom and my vacuum cleaner is for. <laughs> all right. Trying to wait for that glue to get set up to some point till I move it too much. I'm gonna make his hat. Soak in water to make it more pliable. Okay, now I've never heard that. Now I knew they did baskets that way, but I've never heard of doing raffia that way. Then I'd have to make it, then I'd have to let it dry. But I'm kind of thinking now that I need to, I'm gonna hold it down up here and then I'm just gonna kinda He's a scarecrow, right? He can't look all brushed and groomed. We've got to make him look a little bit, a little bit, um, not frumpy, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Scruffy. That's my word I'm looking for. Without me pushing off my... Look at that. <laughs> Don't look like much of nothing. Somebody's probably coming on going, what in God's name is she making? Okay, so there's my... I think it's going to stay. I just got it all, y'all can see it's a hot mess of glue up there at the top, y'all see? And I may have to come back and make him a little mustache. All right. But he's gonna have arms too and everything. We're gonna make his little arms that stick out and all that. Oh, Megan's from Decatur, Mississippi. That's not far from where I'm from. Gnome fur is crazy, so I'd rather use the raw fit. Yeah, it, the gnome fur just flies all in the air and it gets crazy. Okay, so if you watch me make my scarecrow the other night, I'm kind of going with the same theme as how I did the hat on it. I'm not going to cut out a triangle and try to glue it together. I'm going to do something totally different than that. So, I want him to have a cuff. A cuff, you know, like on the top of his hat like I did on him. So, I'm going to fold it up. So, I just kind of folded it a little bit. And then I'm going to turn it face down like this. It looks like Cousin It. It does normally. It looks like Cousin's It, Country Cousin, doesn't it? He just needs some glasses. Then I'm just going to kind of lay it down in the middle of this piece. And this is just a scrap piece of burlap that I had. Um, I don't even think I have any full pieces of burlap. I think it's all just scrap pieces. <clears throat> People will have weddings and stuff. And they'll be like, I don't need this anymore. Will you need this? And I'm like, sure, I'll take it. So I have like a bag of it. Um, so I'm just going to take my burlap. And I'm basically just going to wrap it around the top of my gnome like this. I'm going to do it just a little bit looser though. So I'm going to see if I can't make it. I hope. See if I can. If I don't do it tight though, it's going to come off. So I, I haven't ever tried this before, so I'm just, I'm winging it. Hey Judy, we're making a scarecrow gnome. So I'm going to Put me some glue down and get my little protector deal. Make sure I got my glue in the front covered up. I do. Your 10 month old grandson, oh no, he's been admitted to the hospital. I can't see any more than that, but yes, we will say prayers for him. Bless his heart. Okay. So then I'm gonna, well, I got that glued down. And then I'm going to come around here and I'm going to glue that down. The back. Hey, Valerie, it's good to see you too. Yes, I'm making a scarecrow gnome, but we're going to make him some little arms and all that stuff. Yes, we'll be praying for your grandson. Bless his heart. Mm. Okay. So then I'm just going to cut off what I have left. This is no exact science, I promise y'all. I just kind of shoot from the hip sometimes and I don't measure and all that good stuff. And sometimes it works out better. Okay, so Cousin It has a hat now with a little cuff. Okay, so now there's several ways you can do this if you want to, if you, however you want to do it. You could have cut a triangle and made a hat. But I'm just going to kind of roll it into itself, and that kind of gives it a little point. 
So let me turn around and you see. So this top gets kind of smaller and it's bigger at the bottom. Okay, making sure I'm in the center. Okay, so I'm just rolling it in and making almost a cone with it. And then this is gonna come around. So I may have to cut that off, but. And then I think I'm going to do like I did the other night and I'm gonna tie it off up here. Yeah, let's do that. Oop. Stay, stay there, stay right there. Um, so there's different ways you could do it. I mean, you could make it a point and you could keep it straight up like that and then tilt it over or however you wanted to do it. Um, make you a whole little village with all the different, <laughs> all these different um, hats. And, okay, I don't think my end's gonna matter because I'm gonna cut some of that off. I was having to think it through. So depending on how tall, well, hang on, let me, let me glue his hat down in the front because it keeps on, well, I better not yet because I gotta put his nose under there. I've got winging it down to a size. <laughs> Sometimes winging it works and sometimes winging it don't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do that. And then I think I'm gonna tie it off about here. So I'm just, just kind of making it up as I go along. Uh, thank you, Sue, you're so sweet. And you can put, I have polyfill over here, but I really don't think that I need it to make his hat poof out. But I don't, I think the burlap stands enough on its own to where I don't need it. I don't think I need it. Oh, okay. So then I'm gonna come up here and cut that off. And I'll go on my scrap bin. So now I'm gonna come back here and glue this down back here. <laughs> Y'all love my wing in it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yes, Donna, I'm, I look, Donna, I've already got my, my black felt for my crow and everything. Oh no, she has COVID, bless her heart. Yeah, we'll be praying for all y'all. There's a lot of people that's sick right now. A lot of people that's sick, okay. So there, okay, starting to look like something. I don't know if I need some more beard or not. I may have to add some more. Okay, so up here in the top, you know we gotta have some kind of sticking out. So I'm gonna take some of my pieces that's all over my table and put some coming out of the top. Let's see, some longer pieces. Like he's got, um, hit myself in the face with it. <laughs> Nobody can wing it like me. Oh yeah, they can, okay. So I'm gonna put some glue in there and put some sticking out of his hat and get some more. No hula skirt tonight, I'm actually using real raffia. <laughs> you finish straightening your craft room? Girl, in this place, I have to do it about once a week because it gets out of control real quick. Because I'm cutting and packing and then I'm crafting two days a week and sometimes more if I do stuff for myself, and it gets out of hand fast. So I'm gonna cut some of that off. So I think I'm just gonna attempt to put some glue down in the top. And you could have stuck it down in there before you tied it, and that would have worked, but um, my shirt, no, this shirt came from Walmart back in the summer. Cheryl, I am making a scarecrow gnome. <laughs> We're, get, we're about to make his little arms. I've already made his body out of a sock and some rice and jute. And right now I'm trying to get his straw coming out of his hat. Let me just drop some down there on it and it'll stay. It's still smoking hot. Oh, you brought this hula skirt? I can't find them now. They're all gone and... Um, I had a, somebody that's a follower who's a friend of, she's a friend of a friend of mine, and she's like, oh, she's going to send you some. I'm trying to let that do the set up, and then I'm going to crunch it all up. Oh, no. Everybody's so sick right now. 
All right. He looks like Cousin It. He, I don't know what that looks like. <laughs> oh, thank you. Like my turquoise on me. All right. So now he needs a nose. And I have a couple of options. Of course, the Old Faithful would be just for a nose. Or he just he just had, took a He's taking a nap. He just fell over. Um, I have these little wood beads. I think these are from Hobby Lobby, maybe. They're like knobs, and they just have the flat back. And I think that's what I'm going to use on him. But I don't know. I'm trying all the noses on. We got to see which looks best, what I think. Oh, I kind of like, I like this one. This is bigger, and it's the half, the little split ball or whatever you want to call it. So... I didn't glue his hat down yet because I wanted to get his nose on there so I could cover part of his nose with his hat. Okay, so I think there. And I'm gonna stick it down and then I'm gonna pull his hat down. <laughs> Kaylee's like, oh, she's just got a sock full of kitty litter. <laughs> Make it fuller. Yeah, the raffia I am. I'm going to... Yeah, you can split it. Yeah, I need to do that. Okay, so I'm, all, I'm trying to get the hat to go down over his nose just a little bit, and then I'll show it to y'all. Pumpkin spice cappuccino. I'm not a big pumpkin spice girl. I just... I, I just can't. I'm just a good old vanilla coffee, vanilla creamer girl. Um, I'm just plain, I guess, but... I just can't get into all the hazelnut and the pumpkin spice and all that stuff. Even though I want to really bad, I just, I just can't. All right, let me glue his hat down on the side. We're not done yet, though. We got to jazz him up. We got to put um, his arms. He's going to have arms and everything. Okay, so there's my gnome. And when I want it to be all frazzled up, it wants to lay straight. I may have to give him like a little trim. I may have to make a mustache. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> he cute. Okay. Oh, you got your pumpkins today. Everybody must have got them today because um, they, um, everybody's saying they got theirs today. Well, there's some in the shop. If you're needing the pumpkins, they're there. I add them, add it on at 6.30. Okay, so here's his, all right, there's what we got so far. So I used a sock, put kitty litter in it from Dollar Tree, and my string is not wanting to do right. Hang on. It all kind of came loose, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix it. I'm fixing to tack it down under here, under his beard. Cause it's wanting to get loose. You're not into pumpkin spice. I'm, pumpkin pie. I've had pumpkin pie. It's okay. Um, but I like to, yeah, I like to smell it, Carol. Plain coffee with milk. Pumpkin spice just doesn't flip my switch. It doesn't either. It doesn't for me either, but they're gotten carried away with all the stuff that's pumpkin spice though. Okay. So I just had to make his little jute tighter. All right, there he is. And you can make your hat tall. You can put polyfill in it if that you think that'll help it stand up better, depending on what kind of fabric you use. And I don't like the way... Hang on. I don't like the way that burlap's showing around the front right there, so I gotta fix it. I just had to trim it off. And put some... Just making some alterations to his hat. <laughs> Nelda from North Mississippi. I'm from North Mississippi. Okay. I had to glue that part of his hat down. Peppermint creamer. Oh, now I've never tried that. I don't know if I would like it though. Fix. Okay. So this is what we have so far. He looks kind of plain, but now we're going to make him some arms. Now this is unventured territory for me. I've never made an arm with arms. So here we go. Um, I'm going to use pipe cleaners. Okay, so this is where y'all get to help me. So, I'm, I'm going to do them in plaid. 
So I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's from Crafter Square. So do y'all like the yellow plaid with the blue or the orange and kind of brown? And then I have this like flannel shirt that's green. It is actually a shirt. <laughs> green and blue plaid. So which ones do y'all think I should use? Because I don't know. Y'all tell me. I got the raffia's getting in my mouth. Whipped cream on it. Yum. <clears throat> Lori, he is. Cousin It is dressed up and ready to go. He is going to be so cute. I may have to make more than one of these little guys. So I have to wait for the delay on y'all. Y'all still talking about creamer. Orange. Okay, there's an orange. So I got one for orange. Yeah, Sue, I have those curlers, and I dug through everything I've got, and I cannot find it. I couldn't find them. So I was like, well, I'll use pipe cleaners, and I'm going to roll them in the fabric. Yellow with blue. All right, we got two oranges and one yellow, and now we have a green. <laughs> um, the green. Orange. Okay, that's three oranges. I'm going to give it a couple of seconds, and then I'll just... It's according to the color flower. Wire up his hat and bend it. Yes, don't, you could you could bend his hat. You sure could. Okay, orange plaid's winning so far. Yeah, this yellow, they had sunflowers too, and I got it too. Okay, orange. So far, orange is winning, so we're going to do orange. Okay? Um, this is from uh, Walmart. The ones I showed y'all, the fat quarters, that's what this is. All right, let's move this little dude over here. And we're going to take pipe cleaners. So, not done this either before, but we're going to try it. Because I have, you know, do y'all know what curlers that she's talking about at the, um, let's see, the Dollar Tree? The, the kinds that you bend, those bendy, and they're like foam, and you can bend them, and they're long. Um, I have some of those, but I don't... Um, I couldn't find them. I couldn't find where I stuck them. Orange. Everybody likes the orange. Okay. So, I'm going to cut my... Just going to kind of hold it up here to see how long his little arms should be. And then I'm just going to cut my pipe cleaner. You can use any color because it's not really going to matter. Okay. So, I think I'm going to just put a little line of glue here and glue my pipe cleaner down to the fabric. And this is me experimenting because I don't know. All four different colors. Candy corn colored one. Oh, that, yeah, it does look like candy corn. I never thought about that. Okay, everybody said orange, so that's what we did. Okay, most everybody. All right, so I'm just going to take my, I glued the, the pipe cleaner to my fabric. And then I'm just going to roll it up, roll it a few times. So it's going to give his arm a little bit of, uh, they don't look so skinny. Almond Joy Creamer. Oh, they like all kinds of different ones now. Just wrap the whole pipe cleaner. I, yeah, I started to do that, but I didn't do that. I'm actually gonna... Okay. Oh, I forgot some. Hold on. I think I should do this part first before I roll it all up. We want some little hay coming out of his little arms. Yeah, not everybody. You liked the yellow, Lori. I know, I corrected myself. Well, not everybody said that. So, I'm going to take some of my little scrap pieces where I cut his beard before I get all happy and excited. And I'm going to stick it in here with my pipe cleaner and glue it in there. And that way, it's sticking out of his little arms. You know, coming out of his little shirt cuffs. You like scarecrow's look. I'm probably going to get more than I need because I can always cut it off. Okay. So now, I'm going to continue rolling his little arm in the fabric like that. Okay. So, I have this. I have it rolled up. And here's his little arm. Mocha. 
Hey, Laurie, we're making a little scarecrow gnome. Put filler cotton in the material and wrap pipe cleaners will make it fuller. Huh. I'm just going to roll it a few times and make it a little fat till I think it looks appropriate. Okay. You could put two pipe cleaners. That probably would have been better. Okay. So I'm trying to find the end of my pipe cleaner, which is right here. I can feel it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it shut and then I'll cut it off. I think that's the end. No, that's the end. Sorry guys, I'm having to look right here. All right. Yeah, I'm bulking up his arms. That's a good word, Natalie. <laughs> And I want him to have little scrawny arms. Okay. So I'm going to find, where is the end? Okay, there's the end of my pipe cleaner. So here's the end of my pipe cleaner. So my thought is I'm going to come out here and leave a little extra fabric because I got to attach it to him somehow. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so here's one arm. I got to frazzle up his little... His little hay sticking out of his arms. So see, I just, here's the edge of my fabric right there. Y'all can see it better this way. See the fabric? That's the seam. So I figured I can use this. My pipe cleaner is about here. So I left a little bit because I got to figure out how I'm going to attach his arm like that. So we want it to look like this because, you know, scarecrows, they go straight out like that. Let's see. Hold on. Ta-da! <laughs> this looks so funny. Because I want his arms to go out. Like a scarecrow. Trying to gather up some... Some more little pieces. Oh, you're okay, Robin. We're making this little scarecrow gnome right here. We're making his arms now. Ooh. So... All right, where's my other pipe cleaner? Here it is. There's the other pipe cleaner. I measured and I made sure they were the same size. He put his arms under his hat. Oh, I could do that. Okay. So, same thing. I'm going to put my some glue down, and I'm going to glue my pipe cleaner. And you could double it up and do two pieces, and it would probably be a little more bulkier, but I didn't do that. Put it under his hat. Okay, I'll do that. All right. So, then I'm going to put some more down and put my little hay pieces for his arms right there. This is all that I trimmed off his beard. Okay. Let that set up a second. Tuck the extra under his hat. Okay. That's what I need to do. It just looks funny like his arms are coming out of his hat. Okay. So now I'm just going to roll it up like I did before. Roll the whole thing. A good little ways and now my fabric's not wanting to go because it's already cut okay here we go now I have sweating y'all it's hot up in here I am I'm gonna cut a little blackbird out we got to decorate his hat and make him look all cute I'm gonna get my other arm over here so I can get on the same bulkiness I don't want his one arm to be bigger than the other one put a wire through and poke through the socks oh that's a good idea Tanya that is a good idea. All right. I think that's about the same. Right there. So now I'm going to cut here, but I got to glue it down first. Let me glue. Oh, it's hot up in here. Oh, that's hot. Hot, hot, hot. You're making our pumpkins tonight? Well, good for you. This is to be a cute fabric to make the pumpkins with. Glass square blocks at a rummage sale to make the scarecrow. Oh, yes, absolutely. That's a good deal. Pipe cleaner for his hand. Well, I don't, I'm not going to have a hand. I'm just going to have the hay sticking out like a, just like a scarecrow. Okay, so now. But, yeah, I've seen people put the little bead up in there like his little hand. Okay. So one arm is definitely longer than the other. Okay. So 
here's my arms. Obviously, that's way too much stuff. <laughs> and we got to get it all scrunchy, scrunchy, scrunchy. Get it all. You put yours under the hat. Okay. So, see, there's my little arm. I burnt the fire out of my finger. It feels like it's going to be a blister. Yep, it already is a blister. Woof. Burn it right there. Okay. Let me trim this one a little bit. I don't like it if they're not, uh, they're not even. <laughs> okay, so there's his arms. So stick it under his hat. Okay. I glued his hat down. Why'd y'all let me do that? I glued his hat down. I might can get it under there. But I want it to stick straight out. So is that gonna matter? Okay, I think I'm going to get it close to his hat, but I'm going to cover it up with some beard, I think. All right, let me get him. So I'm kind of just folding this over, and then I'm going to glue right there, and hopefully it's going to stay, but we're going to see. That finger is throbbing. I haven't done that in a long time. Quick add yellow mustard. Yellow mustard! <laughs> Oh, to my finger? Yes. Oh, it's already a little blister. Because I want his, see, I want his arm to stick out. So I'm going to have to probably configure it. I just burnt myself again, y'all. It is my night, and it's not the same finger either. Okay. I sit here and hold it. A dowel rod and glue on the back. Oh. The wire. Yeah, the wire idea was good. I don't have any wire. I have a pipe cleaner. His body is made from a sock. Yes. Okay. All right. So here is... I'm going to hold it. There's one arm. Ta-da! Move it down some. Well, I'll put it right underneath the thing. Yes. It's just a little bitty spot, though, so it's not too bad. But I have burnt myself pretty bad before. I burnt myself right there, actually, about a year ago. Okay. So, I'm just kind of folding over that extra piece of material that we have that I left where the, there's no pipe cleaner. Then I'm having to bend my pipe cleaner forward and then kind of back a little bit. Does that make sense? To get it to so it'll stick straight out and not go backward. A skewer would work. That You could roll a skewer in there, yes. Yeah, I did. Penny, I jinxed myself. I did, didn't I? Oh, Elaine, if I cut a hole, hole in that side, that kitty literally probably start pouring out. <clears throat> I'm just going to sit here and hold it till it Till it sets all up and then I'm just gonna put some more raffia to kind of hide his um, where his arms are attached and he'll be just fine yeah hot glue and this is that thing's on hot too and I hadn't done it all often but um, I've done it several times and it's not fun but it's okay it'll be all right I'll put something on it in a minute and it'll be gone in the morning okay it's not wanting to stay. I gotta sit here and hold it. You guys said a pumpkin's Debbie. Good. I just got some buckets I can use for decoration. Oh, did you get some little crows or something or some kind of little um uh fall little buttons? Ta da! <laughs> you ever seen a uh gnome with his arms straight out like a scarecrow? Um yeah, the idiot is pipe cleaner, so I can bend them. But I want him to, his little arms to stick straight out like a scarecrow. So I'm going to put some, some, um, raffia. I'm trying to get the words out. I was reading and trying to, I'm going to put this up here in front of like where his arm is connected. And that way it'll kind of hide, it'll hide the, um, arm where it's attached because it don't look uh, pretty. <laughs> what am I drinking? It's just water. 
that's really all I drink. I drink one Diet Mountain Dew a day, and that's it. And then I drink water most of the time, supposed to. <laughs> it's just water. Okay. All right, there's that. Let me do some surgery on him, on his hair. Okay. All right. That's, this stuff takes forever to set up. When you're waiting, it takes forever. Uh, oh, she's telling Donna did it a week and a half ago. I guess that scarecrow thing, maybe that's what she's talking about. Okay, let me put some over here on this side. And then we're going to fix his hat up and make his hat cute. All right. So, do y'all like his arms sticking out? Yeah, he needs a little pocket of raffia. Yes, he needs some kind of somethings, doesn't he? He needs some dressing up on his hat. Absolutely. We're going to fix him up, make him cute. I'm going to attempt to drop, to cut out a teeny tiny little crow out of felt. That's going to be a challenge. All right, I'm going to try not to burn myself again. Where's the gnome cup? It's in the, um, it's in my kitchen, my gnome cup. Um, Miss Dana's catching up with all her orders, so I don't drink out of it when she's, uh, got a lot, uh, of orders. Because, um, so she can kind of catch up. Yeah, we made the candy corn and the ghost. That candy corn right there. And we made some pumpkins. Y'all gotta go watch what Lindy did today, y'all. It is awesome. The little gnome tree with the, with the um, Halloween tree from Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, he was so cute. All right. So there you go. There's his, um, his arms. And see, I kind of, I put some, you see where I covered it up over here? I just kind of put it in front of his arms and that way you can't see the end of the fabric or the glue or any of that stuff to make it a little bit more prettier, I guess is the word. Cleaner looking. Okay. Do y'all know something I want to do though? Should I make him a mustache? Make him a little, a little mustache. I am going to put some patches on his hat. We are. We're going to fix his hat up. Cute. What if I put... I'm just going to look and see. I don't really like it. I don't really like his mustache. I think I'm going to leave him alone. Okay, I got to cut this, cut my jute off back here. Did I tie that? Yeah, I did. Yes, y'all had to go watch Lindy, Lindy with Tater Bug, and y'all had to go watch her and watch the gnome that she did today. Oh, my gosh, he's cute. And I was with her when she bought them trees, and I didn't even buy one for myself, and now I'm wishing I had. Okay, so a patch on his, to match his arms. Yes, so I got to cut out. That's too little. Okay. Um, I think I want a patch out of this. To go on his hat. I cut out like the, the square where they all intersect. I think that's cute. Let's see. And we're going to glue that on. I'm going to make him a crow. And I think it, let me glue it over here. There's his patch. Ta da! Okay. And. I have some other fabric scra straps, straps, scraps over here um, that I could make another patch with. I have some yellow. Oh, let's do the yellow. And give him two patches. This is just some little yellow, little yellow gingham. Isn't that cute? A crow, yes. So we gotta make him a crow. God help me, I gotta cut a crow out of some felt. That's gonna be hard. All right, there's his little patches. That's a yellow one. Okay, there's two little patches. Isn't he cute? And let's see, okay. He, but he needs, he needs something else. How about, ta-da, those. You can just go on and on and on and decorate this scarecrow. I, think I, may, I may put it up there. What do y'all think? At the top? Or should I put it 
like down here or like over here maybe like I think I might put it make black marks around the patch yes Gonna take a minute. Like it's stitched on his hat. There's so much little detail that you can add and just keep adding. And on the plaid, though, you really don't see the little lines, but on the yellow, you see it. <laughs> the tree gnome. Yes, Deborah, it was so stinking cute. Name him Patches. Okay, so I think maybe I might put his little sunflower right down here on his hat. And then I have, I have these little flowers from Dollar Tree. It says bittersweet, that's what they're called. And I thought those would be perfect because they look like little fall leaves. And I thought I might stick some of those, I'm gonna cut them out. And they might look like little leaves around the sunflower. And they are like tiny baby leaves. Like in scale with his, his size. Cuffed for the flower. Okay. The flower is not cooperating with me. It's wanting to glue that sucker down. I'm just kind of sticking these in the little brim of his hat, actually. See how it looks. I'm not gluing them down just yet. I just kind of put it, stuck them up there. Looks like little leaves. Okay. There's that. Um, kind of thinking. No. Um, my crow. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> got to see how about how big I want to make him. All right. Here we go. I'm freehanding a crow. Y'all don't laugh. He might look all wrong. <laughs> he might look like a pterodactyl or something when I get done with him. Or a turkey. Okay, there's part of him. <laughs> Looks kind of like a pheasant. Does that look like a crow? <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at my crow. Y'all can laugh. Uh, oh, gosh. He's like long, though, see? <laughs> I just free-handed him. Okay, I cut his tail off. Does it look like a crow? What if I just stand it? If I stand him up like here, does it look like a crow? Or is it too... <laughs> Move it where y'all can see. There we go. Get it in front of my shirt and y'all can see the little crow. Stick a sprig of that sticking out of the top of his hat. Of what? Oh, this, this stuff? Is that better? There we go. See? Oh! Hey, hey, Penny, we're making a scarecrow gnome. The <laughs> Susan, <laughs> my Flintstone. Y'all giving me a hard time about my Flint, my Flintstone crow and my Flintstone cart. So I guess I can just put a dot of hot glue and set him there. Top of the hat in the straw. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm just going to put a tiny bit. He's just felt. Let's see if he'll go. No, let's go this way. 
set up. Way better crow than you could have done, Lisa. Well, he kind of looks like a duck, but he's there. See him? <laughs> he kind of looks like an ugly duckling or something sitting on there. A toothpick and glue it on his arm. I just put a little dot there, and it's just felt. So I just, he just, he's just kind of sitting up there. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. So he's, I mean, he's just got a little, little bitty dot of glue. Y'all see it? And it's just a little dot. He's just barely there. Yellow on his eye. Yeah, I'll have to do that because my paint is all over there and I can't get to it. Leg on the crow and lift him up a bit. He looks cute. Lord, if I started cutting out legs and stuff, yeah, he'd be, he's just kind of, he's hunkered down on his arm. He's just kind of nestled down on his arm. We're going to say, yeah, give him a yellow beak. Oh, y'all are, y'all are getting into it now. I got, I had to get my paint out and paint it on there. <laughs> Rhonda, it would have come out as a circle. There is where I cut him out. <laughs> Doesn't it look cute though? Should I put a crow up here too? On like on that side? Or just one crow? I probably can't cut it out again like I did that one. He may look worse. For a first time crow, that's pretty good. Maybe this will be big enough. Well, I just started kind of at his beak and then went. Like I said, this next one, he probably won't turn out as good. I don't have as much fabric to go with. Yeah, glue a piece of yellow material to his, yeah, let's see. This one's gonna be a baby crow. <laughs> He's smaller. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a flat square head. <laughs> So I could put him well that <laughs> the crow bit the dust hold on let me prop him up there see y'all see him <laughs> so I just stick him up there crow and all he is he's got him a little that's mama crow and this is the baby crow I guess so let me see if I can get him to stay Oh, no. Don't bite the dust. You gotta stay up there. All right, there he is. See him? He's peeking out. Y'all, can y'all see me cutting out a piece of that yellow for his beak? Oh, my word. Y'all are, y'all are getting me into this tedious cutting. I need some little bitty scissors. Gee, I can't even hold it. It's so small. Let's see. Mm. I didn't think about that. Boy. I can't even hold on to it. Still too big. Gosh. The little one is actually better. <laughs> I got it little and it's still too big. All right, I'm gonna stick it to the felt and let y'all see it. Okay, they don't fall off. All right, so there's his little beak. Does that look better? He, now he looks like a toucan. <laughs> he looks like a toucan. <laughs> Oh, the website for that gnome, Amy, is Taterbuggin' on Facebook. That's my friend, Lindy, and she made a gnome out of the little Halloween trees at Dollar Tree. Look at it. <laughs> he looks like a toucan. Somebody said they have black beaks. A little black cat. Look at y'all. Y'all getting all... And we put a cat down here. We'll have a, we'll have a whole little, um, what do they call it? A little scene, you know, in the shoe boxes when you were a kid at school, they made you do a little, um, scene in the shoe box. What was that called? 
that's what we do in our duck blinds. <laughs> Look, he, he's not a toucan anymore. He went back to being a crow. He was just pretending. Yeah, sure, he looks like a toucan. Only if you add colors to the beak. Yeah, the beak was cute, but I took him off. He's just kind of a shadow of a crow. And then we've got that one up there. And well, I could keep going. Hold on. I'm going to work with two different things tonight that I don't like to work with. And this is moss. Let's stick some moss down in his hat. Some of this Spanish moss stuff makes a mess. But I've already got a mess, so let's just go with it. Stick some coming out of his hat. Oh, this is going to even make it look better. I got to cut some of it, though. Oh, boy. This makes it even better. And I stuck some of his hat, too. Look. See his moss? It's like a bird's and got, got in his nest. Made a nest up there, and I'll put some up here, too. Look how stinging cute. What's his body? It is a sock. It's one of those boot socks from Dollar Tree and I cut off and I filled it with kitty litter from the Dollar Tree because I didn't want to put rice in it. And then I just wrapped jute around it and that kind of helps it hold its shape where it's not just falling down into a, a ball. And then this was just a piece of burlap I had and I just wrapped it around and I just was winging it and made it uh, work. <laughs> Cherie's like, I need that scarecrow. Send him to me. I want to see one you make, Cherie. You can do it. And then his little arms were pipe cleaners that I wrapped with fabric and stuffed some raffia in there and all this raffia. Isn't he the cutest? Now, he's probably my favorite. The bee, the bee one that I did, the beehive gnome I did, he's probably my favorite I've ever done. This one's real close second. Yeah, see the little moss? I just stuck some of that Spanish moss. Kind of gives him a little, little aged stick straw on the beak like he's eating it. <laughs> and he's so cute. I just love him. Y'all may have to make another one of these. I may have to have a couple and make them have all different shirt, different color shirt. A diorama. Thank you, Metha. That's what it was. We had to make a diorama in a shoebox. Y'all know. So if we stay here all night, I'd have a whole scene. We'd have a fence. We'd have crows. We'd have cats. We'd have corn stalks. We'd have it all. We'd have all of it in a couple of hours, wouldn't we? I like the moss to his hat. I do too, Dana. I think it's really cute. I could, let's see. I could just keep on and on and on. Maybe should I, I should glue some up here. Just a little bitty. I'm just going to put a little spot of moss up there. Because he's been out in the field a long time. And he's kind of, he's worn. See, I just stuck some up there. Cute. They can be friends. <laughs> oh, you don't care for the moss? Thank you, Michelle. Well, you, you can do yours and not put moss on yours, but I just wanted a little bit of extra because he's been out in the field and you know how they kind of get, um, they kind of get worn and birds pick on them and stuff that, you know, because they don't really scare the birds away. <laughs> At least around here they don't. Oh, he would look good in the wagon. I need a whole bunch of them in the wagon, don't I? But he is so stinking cute. Get all the glue off of him. So I hope y'all give this a try. This is so cute. He's gonna have to have a little photo shoot here in just a minute. I may wait and take him outside and take his picture outside. I know, it's so cute. And my little crow. I'm proud of my little duck crow over here. He don't look too bad. He's just hunkered down. Hmm. <laughs> Good night, Sherry. You got to get up early. I do too. Our kids, my kid's still doing, he's doing virtual. Um, they put him virtual Tuesday and hadn't been in school two whole weeks. But uh, so he still has to get up and do all that. Oh, darling, he needs a pitchfork. Yes, he can sit in the wagon.
just like he is. I know, isn't he cute? So there he, here's the back, and there's the front. So easy. So I hope y'all give this a try. I love it. I think it's adorable. I'm so glad I, I went ahead and tried it. Now, now I'm going to have to make a couple more. <laughs> I'm welcome to mail them to you, Dana. <laughs> oh, we don't have, I don't have a cornfield close to here. I'd have to go out and find one. So he may just, he may just have to hang out in the grass outside <laughs> and take his picture with the bee gnome. Yeah, my bee gnome, he is packed up with all my bee stuff. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Yeah, Sheila, you gotta watch the replay. He's, excuse me, he's got a pet crow and everything. See the little crow? <laughs> yes, he is adorable. I think we chose a good on the pattern, but the yellow would have looked good too. Thank you, Mepha. And I'm fixing to hop off too. So um, I'm gonna go download this and it'll go up to YouTube later. And so, um, oh, my heart, I gotta put a heart back here. <laughs> Melissa said, don't forget the heart. So I'm gonna, I will see y'all Monday. And if you need pumpkins, they're in the shop. I haven't looked since I've been on live, so I don't know. And Debbie's going to get kitty litter. <laughs> yes, I can't wait to see the scarecrow gnomes in the group tomorrow. Cute. Uh-oh, Mammy's going to make her some tomorrow. Cute, cute, cute. All right, guys, I'm hopping off. And y'all have a great weekend, safe weekend. And I will see y'all Monday night. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.